15 Secrets Successful People Know About Time Management The Productivity Habits of 7 Billionaires, 13 Olympic Athletes, 29 Straight A Students, and 239 Entrepreneurs by Kevin Cruz Boost Your Time Management Skills Life today is full of distractions that try to steal your time. Be it your phone constantly notifying you about a new tweet, a coworker interrupting an important task you are trying to focus on, or a flood of daily emails. Your time is being taken away, stolen minute by minute. Hour by hour. Once that time is gone, you cannot ever get it back. To stay focused and prevent these distractions from taking control of your life, you need some effective strategies. Time is your most important resource and should be used wisely. Do you ever wish for an extra hour to read each day, or perhaps to exercise, or to spend with loved ones? You can have that extra time without needing any magical extra day in the hour. First, you need to realize how valuable time is. The first key to time management is understanding that time is your most precious resource. And once it's gone, it is gone for good. A helpful way to keep track of time is by breaking it down. For example, there are 1,440 minutes each day. And each one of those minutes should be used wisely. To remind yourself of this, Kevin, for example, put a 1,440 poster on his office door. It reminds him every day, every time he comes and leaves, that he has limited time each day. Why focus on minutes? Why not instead consider 86,400 seconds? Well, many daily tasks can be completed in under a minute or a couple minutes, like doing 30 sit-ups, reading a short poem, or watering a plant. This makes a minute a valuable unit of time for managing it. Now that you understand the value of time, it is time to prioritize it. The second key is to identify and prioritize your most important task. This is the single task that will have the biggest impact on your life or work. Therese McCann, a professor at the University of Missouri, St. Louis, discovered that the ability to recognize priorities is a crucial factor in productivity. Identifying a most important task is essential for effective time management. For example, if a senior executive aims to create a new app for business, her most important task today might be trying to hire a new programmer. For a startup CEO, the most important task at that time could be preparing an excellent presentation to secure a significant investment. Studies have shown that having a daily most important task leads to higher levels of happiness as well as improved focus. Replace your to-do list with a calendar to achieve more and stress less. 
many people struggle with never-ending to-do lists. Look at yours. How many tasks have just been sitting there for weeks, causing you unnecessary stress? Chances are, you have a few of these sitting tasks. The best way to handle them is by using the trusty old calendar. Here is the third secret. Let go of your to-do list and use a calendar instead. Research shows that about 41% of items on a to-do list never actually get done. One reason for this surprising statistic is that tasks on these lists often do not include information about how long they will take to complete. As a result, more challenging or less important tasks usually remain untouched. This would not be a significant issue except that the incomplete tasks on your to-do list cause a lot of stress that could be easily avoided. In fact, researchers from Florida State University found that you can prevent this stress by simply creating a plan to finish a task. Olympic gymnast Shannon Miller provides a great example. She managed to spend time with her family, fulfill her school responsibilities, train for the Olympics, and even participate in media interviews, all by scheduling time for important tasks. This technique is called time blocking or time boxing, and it only requires keeping a detailed calendar. By doing this, Miller made herself prioritize tasks that would help her achieve her goals, and she still maintains an almost minute-by-minute -minute schedule. However, you will inevitably come across tasks on your calendar that you just cannot complete. When this happens, instead of letting them fall by the wayside, reschedule them. For instance, if you typically go to the gym at noon, but have a flight to catch at the same time, simply move your workout to earlier in the day. Beat procrastination by thinking about your future actions and accepting that there will always be more to do. We've all been there. An important deadline is approaching, and instead of working on the task, you are glued to a screen, browsing Facebook, texting a friend, or watching your favorite TV show. Procrastination is challenging, but fortunately, there are always ways to overcome it and start being productive. The fourth secret is this. Conquer procrastination by envisioning your future self. You do not procrastinate because you are lazy, but because you lack the motivation. Imagining your future self can solve this issue, and it is as simple as asking two questions. What pleasure will I gain by doing this task? And what pain will I experience if I don't do it? For example, if your goal is to exercise daily, but you cannot motivate yourself. Imagine having a large belly whoo, and feeling sluggish, just not having the energy to go about your day. This mental exercise will help get you off the couch and onto the treadmill. Simultaneously, being honest about your personal limitations in potential future decisions can assist you in achieving your goals. If you know 
you will be tempted to eat those unhealthy chocolate snacks or maybe those sweets you got in that drawer. You know what I'm talking about, those sweets. Hey, if that's going to be a problem in the future, protect yourself now by removing all the junk food from your home. You could even replace these with healthier options that you still enjoy, perhaps some baby carrots with hummus. Next, embrace the fifth secret. There will always be more to do. You cannot accomplish everything, and that's okay. In fact, prioritizing and scheduling the tasks you want to complete is more valuable than checking off a whole bunch of boxes, just randomly doing unimportant things. No, it's more important to do a couple highly important tasks. Take President George W. Bush as an example. He knew there would always be more to do. Instead of trying to do everything, he prioritized reading certain books because he found it therapeutic and educational. As a result, he read around 95 books during his presidency. Write down your ideas and reduce email checking to free your mind and increase productivity. Have you ever had an amazing idea while grocery shopping or walking the dog? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to write that down right away instead of struggling to remember it later? The sixth secret is to always carry a notebook with you. Writing down your thoughts helps you keep track of them. Sir Richard Branson, billionaire and the founder of the Virgin Group, claims that he would not have built his empire without his handy-dandy reliable notebook. He was so dedicated to writing down his ideas that once, when he had a business idea but no notebook, he wrote it on his passport. For him, if an idea is not written down, that means it could be lost forever. Taking notes by hand also improves memory. Psychologists Pam Mueller and Daniel Oppenheimer discovered that students who took handwritten notes during a TED Talk were better at recalling the content than students who use their laptops. Writing down your thoughts is essential, as is controlling your schedule. The seventh secret involves not checking your email too often to prevent others from dictating your focus and time. Contrary to popular belief, constantly checking emails is counterproductive. The anticipation you feel when looking at your inbox is similar to playing a slot machine. You often check for new messages, but find nothing. Sometimes there's a new message. Ooh, this unpredictability becomes addictive, leading to more frequent checking. Sometimes we're waiting for those dings, those little notifications, hoping for that little dopamine rush that the new messages provide. This takes up time and disrupts your focus. To free yourself from email dependence, try unsubscribing from many newsletters using a program like Unroll.me. Alternatively, adopt the 3210 system, limiting yourself to three email checks per day, aiming to clear your inbox in just 21 minutes. Take control of your time by avoiding meetings and learning to say no. If you have ever worked in an office, you know how dull meetings can be. 
But boredom is not the only issue with meetings. The eighth secret is that most meetings are inefficient and you should only schedule them as a last resort. A 2015 study revealed that 35% of participants considered weekly status meetings a waste of time, primarily for two reasons. First, according to Parkinson's Law of Triviality, meeting attendees often spend too much time on minor issues. Second, Extroverts tend to dominate meetings, making others less likely to contribute. As a result, valuable information might not be exchanged during these gatherings. If a meeting is absolutely necessary, choose a standing meeting rather than a seated one. This may seem unusual, but researchers at Washington University discovered that standing meetings result in better collaboration, less attachment to individual ideas, increased engagement, and more effective problem solving. Yahoo! CEO Marissa Mayer shares another helpful tip. By scheduling meetings in increments of 5 or 10 minutes, she can hold up to 70 meetings a week. Using the standard 30 or 60 minute block would make this impossible. Controlling meeting durations prevents others from consuming your valuable time. This is crucial since people will continuously make requests, which brings us to the ninth secret. Achieve your immediate goals faster by saying no to most things. After all, every time you say yes to something, you are saying no to something else. Olympic rower Sarah Hendershot is an excellent example of this. She is skilled at declining social and other invitations, which allowed her to stay focused on her goals leading up to the 2012 Olympics in London, where she qualified for the finals. Additionally, research has shown that people who tend to say no when asked for their time are happier and have more energy. Boost your efficiency and satisfaction with the 80-20 rule and some self-reflection. It is crucial to spend your limited time on tasks that have the most significant impact. The 10th secret can help you achieve this by applying the Pareto Principle to uncover shortcuts to success. Here is what it means. In the 1890s, there was an Italian philosopher who discovered that 20% of the pea plants in his garden produced 80% of his healthy pea pods. He extended this 80-20 rule into a general principle, which now carries his name and can be applied in various areas. For example, by applying the 80-20 rule to your employees, you might let go of most of your salespeople who are underperforming. Then, concentrate your efforts on the remaining 20% who are already generating 80% of your sales by providing them with better pay structure incentives, rewards, and increased support. This approach will likely result in overall sales improvements. You can also use the 80-20 rule in your personal life by analyzing your weekly tasks and identifying which ones have the most significant impact. 
Moreover, you can achieve more by carefully evaluating the tasks before you. The 11th secret suggests that leveraging your skills and delegating work will increase your productivity. Professors Julian Birkinshaw and Jordan Cohen conducted a 2013 experiment published in the Harvard Business Review, which found that 43% of workers were unsatisfied with their tasks at work. By training employees to slow down and ask themselves a few questions, the study's authors identified essential tasks when prioritized would free up an extra eight hours of work per week. The first question they encouraged people to ask was, How important is this task to the company? Followed by, is there anyone else who can complete this task? And finally, how could this task be accomplished if I had half as much time? Improve your efficiency by organizing your days with themes and quickly completing short tasks. Do you ever struggle to concentrate during a typical day at work? Most people do. And a little advice can make a big difference. The 12th secret suggests that organizing your work into weekly themes can make you more effective. A great example comes from Jack Dorsey, billionaire and the co-founder of Twitter and the founder of Square. He credits his success in running both companies to having a theme for each day. For example, Mondays were focused on management Wednesdays were dedicated to marketing, and Sundays were reserved for reflection, feedback, and planning for the next week. Entrepreneurial coach Dan Sullivan also recommends theming each week based on three types of days to stay focused and energized. The first type is a focus day dedicated to crucial activities like revenue-growing tasks. The second type is a buffer day for catching up on emails, returning calls, holding meetings, delegating tasks, and handling paperwork. Lastly, a free day is a day with no work, reserved for vacation, family time, and charity. Another straightforward way to boost your efficiency involves tackling small tasks. The 13th secret advises you to immediately take action on tasks that take fewer than five minutes to complete, preventing you from repeatedly returning to the same task. Consider straight-A student Nihar Suthar, who completes five-minute assignments right away, avoiding a long list of small tasks. Or take Kevin, who received an email from his sister Debbie. Instead of replying to her, he called her to schedule a time they could talk. By scheduling a call in his calendar, he saved the mental energy he would have spent trying to remember to respond to her and potentially go back and forth in email. If he had put it on his to-do list or left it in his inbox, he might have potentially completely forgot about it. Boost your energy and focus with a morning routine and a simple technique. Imagine waking up at 6 in the morning, exercising for 45 minutes, and then preparing a tasty, high-protein breakfast. 
It may seem challenging for some, but the 14th secret explains why this is essential. This secret suggests that dedicating the first hour of each day to a morning routine can improve your mental, physical, and emotional health. Starting the day with exercise is an excellent way to stimulate your creativity. Take New York Times best-selling author Dan Miller as an example. He begins each day with 30 minutes of meditation, followed by a 45-minute workout while he listens to audio programs. He avoids checking the news or his phone during this time. Dedicating the first hour to positive and inspirational experiences. He claims that his most creative ideas come to him during this daily me time. You can further boost your energy and well-being by eating a healthy breakfast and drinking plenty of water. Best-selling author and podcast host Sean Stevenson believes energy is crucial and starts each day with what he calls an inner bath. He drinks 30 ounces of purified water to kickstart his metabolism by flushing out the waste. The 15th secret emphasizes the importance of energy. It states that productivity is not just about time. It is also about maintaining focus and energy. That is why Francisco Sorello created the Pomodoro Technique, a method designed to minimize distractions and enhance productivity. His approach involves setting a timer for 25 minutes, focusing entirely on a single task for the full 25 minutes, and then taking a 5-minute break before repeating the cycle. Author Monica Lionel found great success with the Pomodoro Technique after realizing she did not have a single spare hour in her day. By using the Pomodoro Technique, she recharged during her breaks, maintained steady energy throughout the day, and, with the help of other techniques, increased her writing speed from 600 words per hour to 3,500. Highly successful people view time as their most valuable asset. By applying their most effective life hacks, which help prioritize tasks, boost your energy, and maintain focus, you can make the most of your time as well. This concludes 15 Secrets Successful People Know About Time Management.